Roll sound. Cam is rolling. A rolling. Is A rolling? Yes, this, this is my parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Camera rehearsal. And rehearsal action. My name is Robin Greer, and this is my journey as a grip electrician, studio mechanic. Where did, where did your passion for all this start? It's actually a little bit silly because when I had the opportunity, it wasn't something that I considered as a future career path. I was in high school. I just admired light. I walked right up to the student teacher. It, it wasn't even a regular teacher at the school and I basically lied and said that I was from the university and I was there to assist him. Just walked into an opportunity that no one else was interested in. They all just wanted to, you know, be in high school and talk to each other and... I learned quite a lot from him. I, I learned carpentry. We got up into the grid on the catwalk. I got to play with the lighting console. And it was pretty funny because through him, I met this other woman who randomly knew this awarded lighting designer, Jason Amato, who had just come to town and he was taking up residence at the Zack Scott Theater and at the Vortex Theater and all these other really established places. And she said, oh, I'll put you in touch with him. You could apprentice with him. And I said, okay, that's pretty cool. And this was just after my sophomore year. I realized that this was what I could do. Well, I had, I had an eye for lighting very early on, but I had a trampoline accident when I was a child and lost um, the color in my vision for a little while. It came back very slowly. At first I could only, at first I saw black and white, and then the color red came, and then slowly other colors came back. But it was amazing. I, I, I started looking at things like trees especially trees and the way the sun would hit them and one side would be darker and you would see the differences in the branches and the leaves as it went back and so you get that that depth a lot of people like to you know say oh you know the way they're acting or the way they're dressed etc and i just don't look at those things the things i notice are bridges and creeks and old decrepit buildings and clouds and just things. I just like to look. And because of that, I started paying attention to light and dark and depth and things like that. And I got really interested in it. So that transferred very quickly. As soon as I started paying attention to light and needing to understand light at all, once, once you realize that you see something that other people don't see, it, it makes it very simple to go, well, this is what's needed. Every single scientific thing behind it just oh fascinates me. That's awesome. Okay, look, look at the wall. Oh, those, I saw them. Okay, you know why it's here. Wow. Inside the head of the lamp, that's too cold. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'll go back to my job. It's, it's too fun. I mean, it's, it's the perfect mix of art and science. And science is absolutely my favorite when you, thing. When you coil a cable, it becomes a conductor. I mean, it's like a furnace. You can put your foot in the middle of it and just like, ow. <laughs> you know, the physics of it. When you're gripping and the idea of like, this is physics in action. Gravity is so real. When you're rigging and you're literally above people's heads and you know, things are balancing on the palm of your hand. That is nature. A quote that I really enjoy, and I have no idea who said it first, was a mind once opened is never shut. Two degrees, Wait. off two. There's, hold on, show me what you're looking at. No, okay, I've got, mine says 0.7 over here. Okay. Okay, right here's point nine. You know, I truly believe that. Anyone who 
is able to absorb information about anything, you, you don't just go back to who you were. You don't just forget it. You go on and you do something better with it. Well, I think, I think a lot of people in this industry do take a, a great deal of pride in what they do. You know, you'll, you'll see grips who just go out on sea stands, just, ooh, hey, I said it this way this time, you know? And, and they love being tricky and interesting about it because it's fun. You know, it's, it's probably similar to the way that some people like to geek out on the way they write code, you know, <laughs> or something. It's, and that's, that's why, I mean, you can be a big muscle man all day. I mean, yeah, we lift heavy equipment, but still, it's geeky. But we all sit there and we're like, hmm, we have this lamp and this one, and the, oh, okay, and that divided by the, hmm, yes. <laughs> that's when you're having a good time. <laughs> My name is Robin Greer. Thank you for taking a look into my journey. I am a tiny potato, and I believe in you. You can do the thing. You don't have to. Do I can send you the picture. No. So this is what you were gonna be for Halloween, and you were gonna give everybody positive affirmations. Is that what it was? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>